Hello, my name is Dale Maley. I'd like to start off a little bit of history about this project. In the past, I've built maybe five of the large hand-cranked models like this, but usually they only have one or two things operating in the model. On this one, I decided to uh, build a model that had as many different mechanisms as I could uh, fit into the model. It also includes every different type of wood gear that I've ever made. So let's take a look at all the different mechanisms. This model starts out with a hand crank as shown on the left and the first device in the model is a set of worm gears. And the worm gears down at the bottom, uh, the mating spur gear actually has angled teeth to match the angle on the worm gear. The gear ratio is determined by the number of teeth on the spur gear. So in this case it has 12 teeth so it gives you a 12 to 1 reduction ratio. The fastest uh, a kid can crank for a short time period is about 100 RPM. So if I uh, get a 12 to 1 ratio, that knocks that max speed down to just over 8 RPM. Both the worm gear and the mating spur gear are made from red oak. Now here's a photograph looking at the main drivetrain in this model. And the worm gear we just looked at would be on the far left hand side. You can see the angled uh, spur gear that mates with the worm gear. Then going down the drivetrain, the first thing is the first set of peg gears. Um, they were used in grist mills for almost 2,000 years up until the Industrial Revolution because they're much easier to make than today's modern steel gears. Anyway, the first set has a 2 to 1 reduction ratio, and that's determined by the um, the ratio between the number of pins in each of the gears. It then feeds into a set of wooden U-joints shown in red and blue and then it goes into the second set of peg gears those also have a 2 to 1 ratio and then it goes into a set of wooden bevel gears now those have a 1 to 1 ratio. The bevel gears drive a fan using two spur gears and they have a 2 to 1 ratio and then in the center of the model you can see a wood chain with sprockets and that's a one-to-one -one ratio between the two sprockets. There's also another set of spur gears kind of in the middle top of the model and they also have a one-to-one -one ratio. Now let's take a look at the front of the model. On the left hand side you can see the fan with the four red uh, blades. Then the next we have is a reciprocating rack gear where the rig uh, gear oscillates back and forth in a horizontal direction. You can also see another shot of the wood chain that actually drives that reciprocating model. And then next over on the right is a half a gear which lifts up a rack gear and it acts like a pile driver. Now the bell's not shown here but we'll see it on the next slide so each time the pile driver falls it strikes a bell. This is another front view of the model on the right hand side and you, you can see the uh, pile driver in orange that slides up and down the rack gear. You can also see when it falls to the bottom it hits that red rotating piece which in turn hits a bicycle bell each time it falls. The last thing in the model is a large marble lifting wheel where the holes are drilled at an angle in the model such that the marbles roll in the bottom and then they want to fall out at the top. They go down some track and then go through a serpentine return path as you can see in the center and go back to the return. So we've now reviewed all the different mechanisms in the model. So some of my closing thoughts on this project is that my grandkids and usually also the adults should have a lot of fun playing with this model. This is the most complex hand crank model I've ever built but it was fun to build. The most challenging part was figuring out how to package all the different devices into just one model. So in summary, this short video explains how to design and build a hand cranked wood model that has many different mechanisms. Hopefully this video will give you some ideas and help you on your projects. I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe. Thank you.